Hello, my name is Rita McKay. I've written an article I'd like to share with you. It's called, For When They Shall Say Peace and Safety, 1 Thessalonians 5.3. The world is in shock and enraged right now over Putin of Russia going to war with Ukraine. The question is why? The Bible predicted this would happen. Matthew 24 tells us of wars and rumors of wars. Even COVID-19 should not have been a shock, for Matthew 24 talks about pestilences. The biggest question should be, are we entering the time that the Bible speaks about of a time of trouble such as there never was? Daniel 12.1 I have been studying over the years Ezekiel 38 and 39, and I couldn't help but notice the alliance of Russia and Iran that has been taking place on the world scene, just like Ezekiel predicted many years ago. I have been blessed to have been born into a family that believes that the house of Israel was not destroyed by the Assyrians, but migrated to the British Isles and its colonies, which includes the United States. So it is easy to understand that Israel mentioned in Ezekiel 38 and 39 is referring to Canada, the British Isles, the United States, etc. As I read these phrases, land of unwalled villages that dwell safely, all of them without walls, and having neither bars nor gates, Ezekiel 38, 11, and upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, Ezekiel 38, 12, they describe Canada, the British Isles, and the United States perfectly. And again in Ezekiel 39, 6, and I will send a fire on Magog, Russia, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, the British Isles. Who has, who has moved into the British Isles in these last days that God would want to send down fire upon? We will know when it happens. History has already shown what fire God likes to use. Russia has gotten warning signs from heaven already. On June 30th, 1908, a meteor hit Siberia, and again on February 15, 2013, another one exploded over the city of Chelyabinsk. Huh, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so what's my point, you ask? My point is, if we have entered the time of trouble such as there never was, then here is what I see coming in Britain, Canada's, and the United States, etc.'s future, if they don't repent and get back to their Christian roots. Even now, Russia is blackmailing the West with the threat of nuclear warfare so they could try and do what it says in Ezekiel 38:12 to take a spoil and to take a prey. If you think what is happening in Ukraine could never happen to us, think again. Not only is Russia and Iran buddy-buddy, but China is also part of this band of thugs. It's time God's people decide whom they're going to serve, God who created them or man who wants to enslave them. If it is God who created them, then they need to acknowledge that the only way they are going to get his help is to acknowledge his way of salvation, is only through accepting Jesus Christ as not only their personal Savior, but also their national Savior. Canada was founded on Christian principles, but it has strayed far from its roots. No longer is what God wants for Canada considered when making laws in Parliament. It's time for God's people to wake up and obey God's commandments, like, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. It's time to repent or continue to be punished by God for not accepting His only way of salvation, both personally and nationally. Jesus made it plain, He said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6. 
I only want Jesus to be head of my heart as well as my country. How about you? That is the only way to have true peace and safety.